This is my owner's manual for the Skag Cheetah 61 inch deck. We're going to go right to the grease required for the spindles and the moving parts. On the cutter deck spindles, there's three fittings, three spindles. So what I did when we first bought the mower is you research lithium, MP, probably multi-purpose, white grease, number 2125. I'm going to show you what my results were on that little search for a simple grease specification listed by SCAG. And then we'll look down here at compatible greases. Mobile Grease XHP 222, Exxon Mobile Ronex MP, Exxon Mobile Unirex EP2. Well, EP is probably extreme pressure, MP is probably multi-purpose, XHP according to Mobile Grease, the website is extreme high performance. Uh, I think the bottom line is it's a lithium base, but we'll get in to especially this guy, XHB222. That's what I ended up buying. And I'm going to show you just how cheap you can buy this grease. Okay, when you punch in lithium MP white grease 2125, which is in the Skag owner's manual, it's not only my owner's manual, it's in thousands of owner's manuals out there. These are the search results. Shop white lithium grease at Amazon. That's going to take you to the little squeeze tubes for door handles and stuff. Now, more importantly, we get to the lawn sites and some, some of the professionals who are making a living running lawnmowers, greasing Skag spindles. From the factory, I noticed that Skag uses the white lithium spelling grease, but I have never had good luck with that. Greasing Skag spindles, what kind of grease to use. Can't find white lithium grease for them. I won't even click on it. It's been my experience, if you want to know something, if you want to educate yourself on greases and oils, that's Bob is the oil guy. These guys are the true professionals of grease and oils and numerous other subjects related to maintenance. So on Bytog, this is back in 09, I bought mine in 16. I have a mower that lists the spindle grease as US Lithium MP White Grease 2125 with the following listed as compatible which I done showed you those. Lawnmower form, which is it? Has anyone found this lithium MP white grease 2125? No. Grease job on lawnmower form. These days it seems a lithium MP white grease 2125 called out in your operator's manual is becoming more. If you click on that, it will say difficult to find. I can go on and on. So after a night of this or a long evening on wanting to use the absolute best grease I can buy for my skag, because I love the mower. So I went to plan B, and that was researching the three compatible greases. Here's a list of Skaggs replacement part numbers. They put it under the seat. Very handy little tag. And it's not paper, it's some kind of plastic that's protected. It's pretty nice of them to do that. Okay, here under spindle grease, they don't even mention the white lithium 2125. They go straight to the compatible greases, the mobile grease XHP 222, and then the Ron X and the Unirex. I just want to show you that the information is on the skag itself, along with the blades part numbers and the belt part numbers. If you bought grease at the three parts houses, like Advanced, AutoZone, O'Reilly's, or tractor supplies, You'll notice, quickly notice, that a lot of this grease is anywhere from $6 to a lot of the Mobile One, the synthetics, is $9.99, you know, 10 bucks a tube of grease. And these are 14.1 ounce tubes. Well, I was really shocked when I punched in Mobile. Go ahead and punch in on your Google, on your phone or your PC, Mobile XHP. 222. This grease is highly recommended. I've talked to them down to the GIE Expo in Louisville, Kentucky. They have that every October. That's Green Industry Expo. Talked to the Skag guys, the reps. They're extremely knowledgeable. They said this is good. I don't know what it's worth, but it, it is kind of neat that it is the official lubricants of NASCAR. Uh, some guys say you've got to be careful on tapered bearings in your spindles on these zero turns. 
don't get into too much of a fibrous grease. You want to stay with this kind of a lithium based grease. It is stringy, it's tacky, it will hang in there, but it will also turn into like an oil. Well, not turn into it, but it will bleed. Some of these tubes, they have a, uh, there's some down there that's bled off a little bit, the grease. And you probably know, you know, on your own guns, when you put your gun up and pick it up, a lot of times it starts dripping out of the tail housing on the gun. But it will, it will bleed out an oil, which is a good thing, I think, to do this. This grease is a good looking grease. I don't know any other way to say it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's just a pretty blue grease. It is stringy. <laughs> this is certainly no scientific test. It's just showing you that it does have a certain degree of tackiness to it that, uh, that I think is required and liked. Also, I want to point out that Skag, you know, all these mowers, these manufacturers, they have different recommendations on how many hours machine hours that they want you to grease certain components. Skaggs recommended hours on the spindles. That's what's turning the blades. It's 40 hours. That's a lot. So I think you definitely want the best grease you can get in those spindles. You shouldn't over grease them. Skag does put a relief valve on them if you do because the seals are so tight they would build up a pressure in there. If you think about it, 40 hours, that's five eight hour days of the blades just doing nothing but spinning at full RPM. That's asking a lot for a grease, in my opinion. Now I'm gonna to talk to you about cost on this grease. This is probably the best grease you can buy. I bought this grease two years ago. It came in a, a 10 pack, but I bought it on Amazon. They came up first on the list when I punched in mobile XHP 222 grease. Two years ago, this grease was $35 delivered to my door. That's $3.50 a tube of probably really good grease, if not the best. Before I had been just running buying one or two tubes at a time at the different parts houses, and never I never really don't remember paying less than $6 for it. Usually I buy pretty good Valvoline DuraBlend or Mobile One Synthetic. Never did buy any from Tractor Supply, so I can't can come in on theirs. I know they have a Mystic brand there. A lot of the guys on Bytog do like the Mystic brand of greases and oils. This grease right now, I just checked in on Amazon. If you're a Prime member, but if you're not, you can still buy it. But if you're a Prime member, this grease is $31 for 10 tubes shipped to your door. It's $3.10 a tube, but I just can't, I don't know how you can buy a quality grease like this, especially a grease that is recommended by a manufacturer uh, but please check your owner's manuals. They're all maybe a little different. I know a lot of the, the spindle setups are different. Maybe they all don't use tapered bearings. I'm not sure. But for $3.10 a tube delivered to your door if you buy a 10-pack, it just doesn't get any cheaper than that. I'm going to put a link down there to purchase if you're interested. And it's been my experience that if you do grease your equipment, maintain your equipment, take care of it, it will take care of you. So thanks for watching.